Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. The program must accept an integer y and print the last date of each month in year y. The format of the output should be dd, mmm and yyy for year. Now let's consider our test case. Two thousand ten. First, we have to check whether the year is a leap year or not. 2010 is not a leap year. So, the last date of February is 28. The output will be in the format 31 Jan 2010. 28 Feb 2010. 31 March 2010 30 April 2010 31 May 2010 30 June 2010 31 July 2010 August AOG 2010 30 sorry thirty September 2010 31 October 2010 30 November 2010 and finally 31 DEC December 2010 this will be our output now let's check for our second test case In this test case, 1940. 1940 is a leap year. So the last date of February will be 29. So this will be our output. The program must get the year from the user and they are using a variable called date and storing the last dates of 12 months 31, 28, 31, 30, 31, 30, 31 And finally, 31. And we are creating a variable called month and storing all the months. Jan, Feb, MAR for March. APR April MAY May J 
जे यू एन जून जे यू एल जूलाई ए यू जि आगस्ट एसी सेप्टर ओसी अक्टोबर एनओवि नवंबर डीसी डिसेंबर नाउ फर्स्ट वी हैव टू चेक whether the given year is a leap year or not so we are passing an if condition if year modulo 400 equal to equal to 0 or year modulo 4 equal to equal to 0 and year modulo 100 not equal to 0 this is the condition for the leap year date of 1 plus equal to 1 if it is a leap year means the date in the first index will be added to 1 so it becomes 29 now for index in range 12 because we are having 12 months we can also use 0 comma 12 print date of index comma month of index comma year and finally you have to use sep equal to an iphone the output should be separated by a iphone now let's check for our test case Two thousand ten, and finally, this is our output. February has twenty eight days, March, April, and this will be our required output. Now, let's check for our second test case. Nineteen forty, which is a leap year, and February has twenty nine days, and this will be our required output. Our program has passed all our given test cases successfully. Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video.